It is amazing to be able to see the second vaccine now receiving emergency use authorization for distribution to prevent the terrible spread of this terrible disease. And all of this coming less than a year from when we first learned about this pathogen. that one of the components that is present in both of the vaccines, polyethylene glycol, can be associated um, uh, uncommonly with allergic reactions. Um, but what we're learning now is perhaps those uh, allergic reactions could be somewhat more common than the highly uncommon that we thought they were.